Section 1. The Physical Self The Biological Blueprint or DNA Environmental and biological variables impacts the concept of physical self. A key component of biological blueprint is heredity, the transfer of Characteristics from parents to children is known as heredity. A person's genes includes a specific information that makes up its quality. Environmental conditioning means any condition with respect to soil, surface waters, ground waters, land, stream sediments, surface or subsurface strata ambient air and any environmental medium comprising or surrounding the premises whether or not yet discovered which would reasonably be expect expected to or does result in any damage loss cost expense claim demand or order or liability to or against any of the borrower parties or lender by any third party including without limitation any governmental authority including without limitation any condition resulting from the operation of business at the premises and or the operation of the business of any other property owner or operator in the vicinity of the premises and or any activity or operation formally conducted by an any person or entity or of the premises this is Sarah, your reporter for the section 1, the physical self, achieving physical well-being. So, what is a physical well-being? Physical well-being is a practicing self-care for the needs of your body. This includes physical activities, balanced nutrition, getting adequate sleep, and avoiding harmful behaviors. I will tackle also the branches of physical well-being. Section 2. The Sexual Self The Sociobiological Aspects of the Self The combination of social ideas and evolutionary theories with knowledge of the anatomy of the brain to understand how adaptation affects all living things is called biology. It serves conception according to the traditional sociological view, our perception of who we are in relation to other people, ourselves, and the social environment in the general constitute our stable self's concept. The self is social in the sense that it develops through social connection. The biology of sex The biology of sex refers to biological characteristics and processes that distinguish males and females within a species. In most organisms, including human, sex is determined by genetic factors, specifically the presence of sex chromosomes. In human, typical sex chromosomes are designated as X and Y typical females have two X chromosomes, while males have one and one Y chromosome. The presence of the Y chromosomes triggers the development of male reproductive structure during embryonic development. Sexual Orientation and Gender Identity Gender identity and expression are complex concepts that have come to the forefront of recent national conversations around diversity and inclusion in higher education. Students from all of the country have voiced the concern and fear of being misgendered outed without consent and subsequently invalidated, marginalized, and psychologically damaged by a lack of awareness surrounding their identity, is an introductory primer to the many layers that surrounded these concepts and the ways we can increase our awareness and best support our students in a complex and often diverse socio-political context. Consequences of sexual choice First, pregnancy Many women have experienced a panic of lateness about psycho. The time of the month that signifies a child free life is delayed by harmonies. The environment or unattended pregnancy Unattended pregnancies arise from vaginal sex with a man who ejaculates sperm. Usually, it a consequence of a man ejaculating into the vagina without any barriers, such a condom, 
However, we ejaculate fluid before ejaculation happen can also contain a small amount of sperm. Second, sexually transmitted diseases. Sexually transmitted diseases as EV are infection diseases that are transmitted through blood. Semen or vaginal fluid, human immunodeficiency virus HIV is well known as TB. The virus infects human T-cells, an important part of the immune system. HIV tells of the T-cells weakening the patient immune system. With no protection, the patient easily dies from secondary infection. Such as pneumonia, there is no cure for HIV, and treatments only slow the progression of the disease.